Well, we're joined this morning by Shaquille Afsar, who is leading the protests outside the school. He's here alongside Melissa Thompson, who says that the demonstration could be very damaging to the LGBT community. Welcome to both of you. Um, Shaquille, let's start with you there, because we heard Sarah Hewitt-Clarkson, the head there, what she said last night. Yes. Um, she has said that, that no one's knocked on her door to discuss this with her. Uh, what would you say about that? I think uh, at a time of uh, when uh, a, a community is feeling uh, that they have been made to feel uh, that the, the rest of the community is being intolerant towards them, and the fact that we have uh, nearly 250 parents who have wrote several letters, we've handed in 200, a 200 page petition, we've made numerous attempts to uh, contact the school through dialogue before we started protest. So it's, it seems a bit unfair that uh, the head teacher is saying that she hasn't consulted because nobody's knocked her door. Uh, uh, six hundred uh, pupils were withdrew. Uh, six, uh, sorry, six hundred pupils uh, never came to school on Monday because their parents felt that they wanted to protest to show um, their concerns. And I think that in itself is a big referendum to say that there is an issue. And you know, uh, parents are able to, uh, without having religious leaders come, we are able to talk and you know, and, and find a way forward. If well, you haven't even got kids at the school. I haven't got children at the school. I have a niece and nephew at the school, and my involvement mainly and where it prompted me to come forward with that was uh, my sister felt that she wasn't firstly able to get through uh, to the head teacher. Uh, my niece and nephew are as equal to uh, me as my two daughters. Mm -hmm. And the main reason was my brother-in-law works for a quite reputable accountancy firm. And he felt purely because of the discrimination I felt for speaking about how I fe feel, he felt that... But aren't you discriminating against the LGBT community? No, you're doing it, exactly what you're saying is happening to you. No, I think that is a lot of misconceptions. What the parents are saying is we uh, feel that uh, any community, whether it's LGBT, whether it's Muslim, whether, whether you're religious faith, that we should be able to live and coexist with one another, even if we have different beliefs or different views. Now, an uh, example of that I could give you is, for example, you have a, a lot of parents in the school who have uh, are come from Christian Catholic uh, backgrounds mm. and their morals and their lifestyles are, are focused around... Would you say you were a tolerant man? Personally, I unfortunately in the media I've been made out to be this this homophobic crazy sort of. But you of man. did say, I let me quote very... your own words back to you. It plants a seed in them. Yeah. So what this... seed does it plant? Okay. So if you give me opportunity to clarify that, parents feel that at the primary school age the child is not of an age to understand such complex relationships such as LGBT or even that, even uh, uh, some uh, uh, heterosexual relationships or even about Islam or religion and stuff. And parents feel that in primary school, we should be teaching our children about humanity, respect for humanity. We shouldn't have... Parents at the school shouldn't feel like the school is over-promoting one narrative mm -hmm. and not the other, and we should try to make it transparent. OK, well, let's bring Melissa in on this, because you feel like these protests are incredibly damaging to the LGBT community. Absolutely. I mean, first of all, I find it really rich that you use words um, such as tolerance, uh, intolerance and discrimination, that you are victims, that you, that, that you and the people that you speak for are victims of that, when you, that, that is exactly what you're doing, you're being intolerant and discriminatory towards gay people. Um, it's, it's hugely damaging to the LGBT community. Please let me finish. Yeah, um, if you've read any of the literature, any of the books that are um, being introduced to schools to, to teach children yeah. um, about lots of different types of families, mm -hmm. then you'll realise it's not a manual on how to be gay. A kid isn't going to read it and go, oh, that's how, I, that's how I become gay. But it will give children um, just an appreciation of the, of the Britain that we live in today, which is a, a tolerant Britain and a, a Britain that celebrates all sorts of people. And... If you've... Uh, the, one of the books is at my, is at my daughter's childminder. And, and I'll tell you what, my friends, the ch my friend's children, when they, when they realise that my daughter has got two mums, yeah. their reaction isn't one of confusion or disgust. They say, oh, yeah. they, they don't care. It's not complex. Some people have two parents... Sorry, a mum and a dad. Some people have two dads. Some people have two mums. Some people have one, one parent. I mean, that Some is the way we live in Britain now, yeah, isn't and it? And so I wonder whether yeah. this sort of um, education, relationship education, which by 2020 is yeah. coming in I, I, and that's going to be rolled out across the country and it will include the sex yeah. education, I, is that not how we are at, in Britain living now? I, that's I think, the reality. I think, uh, bringing it back to uh, what Melissa said, um, it's if a group of people feel that their religious, moral 
and their family values are being infringed on. So, for example, if they feel that their children are being sent to home and are, uh, to school and are being taught something that is contradictory to their religious belief, now this is their opinion. Now, if they, for example, we have a parent who is a Christian Catholic and he believes that according to his morals, homosexuality is not a morally acceptable relationship to have according to him. Now, also, also to his religious faith, he's also been taught that he mustn't discriminate anyone who chooses to do anything different. He mustn't judge them, he mustn't discriminate against them, and we don't discriminate against the LGBT community. I am a firm believer that they should be able to live, and but not only live... You are, no, 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 we're running out of time, so we've got to get a lot of points in. Yeah. But you are discriminating, because what you're doing is you're encouraging your children. You, as parents, you will encourage your children to be less tolerant. Now, eventually, those children, because, thankfully, children are much more inclusive nowadays, mm. that generation will grow up, They'll re they will probably, potentially, possibly, reject your views, and you'll, you will widen the gap between generations. No, but some of them might be gay. Some, the, some, the, of, those children, no, some of those children might, might with, grow up with, to with, be gay. With, 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 all, with, with, all due, with all due respect, with all due respect to uh, what, what you said, is that's exactly how the parents are feeling. The parents are feeling that the LGBT community has become intolerant towards them and their religious beliefs. But why because, can you not just, learn just, about let, it? Let me just, because you've asked the question, let me just please express, because... What the parents have been made to uh, look like as if we're some homophobic people, we have no tolerance towards differences, when we have coexisted with this community, myself, for 32 years in Birmingham, I've mm. never had issues with LGBT people, I've never protested against LGBT people. I think where this, is, uh, this issue has uh, uh, arisen from is the lack of responsibility of Sarah Hewitt Clarkson, mm -hmm. a lack of her responsibility to consult people who hold their religious faith very close to their heart and to make them uh, sensitively aware of what's going on. And if there were any misconceptions, then us, the LGBT yeah. community... I'm going to have to stop you I'm going to give you ten seconds. Uh, you contradict yourself. You say that you're, you're not, not intolerant. I, I but, 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 but I'm afraid... You are, and you're, yeah. you are poisoning children. You and you are making them stop. grow up. We have to stop there because we've got the weather coming up. Sadly, we are going to stop. There's nothing we can do about that. It's going to happen. So thank, thank you, you very much indeed.